All right, well, it's bonfire night, so uh, hopefully there won't be any fireworks going off in the background, but I can't promise anything. So this is the first video on the new update, and um, although I have been just uploading a lot of uh, the backlog, like I had a ridiculous backlog, in fact, I've still got quite a few videos pre-update. The fact is most of them are pack one, and pack one didn't change anything, so they should be fine enough to use. Um, I'm kind of late to the party with this update, so everyone's already done their changes video, but one of the changes I noticed, which is really strange, is that they no longer have... Um, the, the pets no longer shake when you have screen shake turned off, which is... I was kind of surprised to see that, and I don't I haven't seen anyone else mention it, but... Um, I'll show an example of that in a second, but here we get Casuari uh, and Casuari just still very underwhelming in my opinion, but um, yeah, so here, just have a quick look here. Every time the pets get hit, nothing moves. The backline pets just stay static and um, yeah, it just it looks so strange. Although to be honest, it might actually be better for my eyes, but um, you can see here, I've, I've put out an example on screen showing what it used to be like. So every time one of the pets collided, uh, they all bounce up and down. And I believe it's still like that if you leave screen shake on. Just one of those. It seems like they put a stealth change in every update without, that it's not on the patch list. Anyway, to get back to this run, the main... Uh, I'm not really even really sure what I was trying to do, but... A lot of the time in pack three, if I get cassowary at the start, I try and go for multiple cassowaries. Now, realistically, the state of pack three, I think it's pretty unlikely you're ever going to win with five cassowaries unless you get some sort of insane RNG. Um, and part of the problem is that it's it's such a weird pet. It it requires strawberry to scale but you can't put the strawberry on the cassowary itself. It used to actually be that you could, it would scale itself if it was the only strawberry pet on the team, but they changed that. In fact, I was looking through old videos for stuff to add to the database, and I saw that uh, Kino had actually a five cassowary video. Um, but I watched it back and it was on the test server, and that was when, um, that was when cassowary could self buff. So as soon as you get it, you just put the strawberry on the cassowary and then it, away it goes and it starts buffing itself. Um, and without that, it feels really awkward. And if you want multiple cassowaries, you have to do this. You have to, because I want to sell the seahorse, I have to put strawberry on both cassowaries to make sure they, they both scale. It just, it just seems like a really weird design. But anyway... Despite its design, it led to this game, so I can't complain too much. So here, get rid of the seahorse um, to make sure that when the dove faints, it gives the buffs to the cassowaries. And dove is one of the pets that was changed in the update, so it now gives plus two, plus two instead of plus two, plus one. Um, another one of those sort of minor changes that feels like it makes a big, reasonably big difference. And uh, I've actually had a few attempts previously, not in this update, but where I tried to do multiple cassowaries and what I did most of the time was get Mantis up front and and then um, use it to kill Blobfish to level up the cassowaries because obviously it's pack 3, there's no chocolate. I honestly feel like pack 3 would just be so much better if they <laughs> if they added chocolate and, um, and pill. It's, yeah just unnecessarily awkward but anyway we, we now that we've got both cassowaries up to a decent level we're we're winning but at the same time I'm on lethal I've been on lethal for a couple of rounds I think um, but I was just carrying on regardless and part of the, when you're on lethal like this I, I frequently just do you know um, the best case scenario type play which here is letting the mantis double kill um, we want to level up the 
second cassowary immediately to level two and it'll start catching up with the other one and kill the dove which will give permanent buffs as well so you can actually see here they've removed the screen shake for the mantis as well or i say removed i think if you leave the screen shake option on in the menu you'll still see it but it used to be that the screen would rock when the mantis killed a pet in the shop and luckily here at level uh, get cassowary we level into hammer shark which is no use because there's no i don't want to combine the cassowaries um in fact the mantis would need something to kill anyway so it was never going to fit so i just put stork in and uh here we go against Toad, but luckily one of the uh, triggers gets wasted there on the Hawk. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have enough uh, attack to, to clutch that one out. So kill the Stork. Doesn't give me anything useful, so we'll just give the Mantis Pepper because its stats were pretty, pretty weak. Put Blobfish in. Probably should have kept a slot open there for buy-sell. In fact, I should have waited and then bought the taco before the blobfish, but luckily it hits the perfect three pets. And this time, this team uh, has exactly the right health on the pill bug for the mantis to kill it. And one of, one of the other things I think is really weird about pack three is that it's so difficult to make uh, weak units useful. You can see in that last battle, the, the other team had put... Um, cheese on pelican and the pelican's attack was five so adding doubling it with cheese made it 10 which is still terrible and if you think about the sort of comparison of steak um i guess steak is maybe tier six and uh yeah i think steak is tier six and cheese is tier five maybe but it's it's just hopeless so yeah, I put Raptor in just to keep myself alive. Um, it's, you know, I've mentioned it before in videos, it's like the ubiquitous auto-include pet for the end game of, uh, of pack three. Here I decide I'm actually gonna put the Piranha in instead of the Blobfish. Um, the, the, skate, the leveling up the cassowary is not really necessary, but it did occur to me that I probably don't have the achievement, so I might as well do it. But the Piranha gives me better chance of uh, of winning in the battle and no problem so the piranha gets killed off the piranha was also changed so it now gives plus three plus three although the middle cassowary is not far off maxing out so it's not going to matter too much we'll give shrimp to the mantis because with the pepper it doesn't matter too much um, what its health is and here as normal, we go against another uh, raptor team. Um, but the math is very, very fortunate. And we get a nice draw um, out of that one to keep it alive. And it's strange here where you the, ma the, the blobfish gets killed and the achievement the, the achievement actually shows up and before the, the, the cassowary is leveled up, which is kind of odd. Um, and we, yeah, find another cassowary. So at this point, I was thinking, right, I will, on the last turn, I will th throw in the final cassowary to, you know, get this sort of um, uh, budget uh, triple cassowary video because I know I'm not going to get five. Um, at this point in the game, without the, the raptor, you know, you're never going to be able to buy enough um, peppers to give every cassowary pepper. So I'm just looking for another raptor. And I roll sloth and raptor on the same roll. And I, a, a long time ago, I don't know how, exactly when it was, I saw a, a, a screenshot that someone posted where they showed their sloth right beside the mantis. And I thought, as soon as I get the opportunity to do that, I have to try it. So here it's slightly false because we're on nine wins. So if if I lose, the sloth's not going to get killed by the mantis. But if I draw, um, it will. So I couldn't resist going for it. 
because it's probably not going to get another chance to do it for a long time and the woodpecker kills the sloth <laughs> immediately but it doesn't make any difference with the two cassowaries at max we we win with get the level three cassowary badge and that's only my second sloth win ever so that uh, really made my day